Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and we are going to do a read for you and who, all right? This is going to be a love read. Uh, my career and finance and my monthly general read, is you're going to see that at the end of this video, so do check it out, all right? So love starts with you, so we're going to pull a card specifically for you first, so let's jump into that, and then we'll get to know a little bit more about the other person, your dynamic between each other, and so forth, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening for you here, all right? Uh, so the first card that I'm going to pull is an active card. This is similar to what I had done at the first half of the month in the love reads. So with that being said, you can check those at the first half of the month and see how they compare to the second half. All right. All right. Uh, let's take a look at what uh, it needs to be activated. Now that who it could be a friend, family member, a boyfriend, girlfriend, a person of interest or one side of a situation or another. If in fact love's not on the brain, you know, or you don't have someone that maybe particularly is in mind. Uh, so just note that. All right. So let's take a look at what is, uh, uh, going on for Scorpio at the second half of July 2021. All right, so let's take a look. What do we have here? Nice. Ooh, you guys. Okay, so what do we get here? Consciousness. Okay. Wow. Um, this is about the ability to focus on um, our consciousness, everything that is happening around us, right? The development thereof, the expansion thereof consciousness, right? So this is about being conscious of the situation, uh, uh, you know, in the here and now, uh, and what part that's playing in your life. You know, the interesting thing in here, this really talks about that intuitive knowing or that intuitive feeling here, uh, the communication uh, beyond that, what we can, you know, see and, uh, you know, touch, right? It's beyond that, right? So this is uh, actually getting a little bit deeper. And it's like, this is like your core let me just pull this here like this is like your core like this is you like the core center and then this is all the universe right it's expanding your consciousness and when you do so and you use your intuition you know through that process uh, especially as it pertains to love um, it actually lets you know what's really going on inside you and then what's going on around you right so it's a little bit different if you uh, really do that exercise and I think I mentioned this I don't know who else got this um, and I think it was at the beginning of the month, uh, but what this talks about is to really, you know, take the time to tune in to your heart and it's asking on how you feel emotionally, right? All right. And then it, then it wants you to do is to move that awareness away from the body and from the outside. Right. And it wants you to, uh, you know, away from, once you move your awareness away from the body and the space around your body, and then, um, you ask what's, you know, what's, uh, from the outside looking in what that looks like, then that leaves a different perspective. So there's two different perspectives if you're focusing on the awareness from the inside out or the outside in, all right? So that's what this wants to let you know, that maybe something that's going on needs to look at a different perspective in, in, in such the way that I've just explained, okay? So very, very interesting. Um, uh, but it's beautiful energy and it's just the expansion. You're part of the universe and here's you and then here's the universe around you. And it's always evolving and always expanding, right? So um, that is what I'm getting here. Now let's take a look at, uh, I'm going to pull one more Oracle card to see how this makes sense. Uh, you know, see how this uh, plays in uh, with the situation. And what do I get here? <laughs> illumination. Wow. Okay. So this is illumination. Take a look at this guy. So it's kind of like, when you expand your consciousness, you look from a different point of view, whether it's from the outside in or the inside out, and you make that comparison, there's some sort of illumination that comes along that. You follow me? I think you guys are. You're way too smart. You get it, okay? And there's some sort of illumination that comes into play, okay? So that's what the exercise that it wants you to do uh, is what I'm feeling here because it's kind of like your creativity is actually being blocked. It's kind of like your third eye, right? You know, your third eye, your perception. It, it changes your perception of things when you do this. Uh, you're not expressing how you truly feel. Now, this could be in a love relationship or in a situation, uh, because that's what's coming strongly through this. And, and, and that's why I have to mention it, you know, in this read here. Um, but I feel that uh, to unblock your creativity, you really need to express your feelings, right? And this is about self-expression, okay? Um, uh, it, it's like uh, everything is valid, you know, whatever expression, whether it's verbal, whether it's through art, 
through music, whatever the case may be. It's all a, a means of expression of your soul. And this truly wants to come out now. Okay. There's no judgments. Your, your creativity here has no boundaries, right? And it's the essence of life. It's your self-expression. But you know, when you express yourself, it self, it heals you, but even more so Scorpio, it liberates you. Okay. So time for liberation through expression. That's what's coming through. Okay. So drop the wand, right? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's jump into your read. You guys got to let me know how that resonates with you. Okay. So, um, that's what's coming through here. I'm going to put this aside and let's take a look at what wants to come through for you, uh, in your main spread here. Okay. So what is at the present moment is Scorpio going through right now? Let's take a look at what that is for you here. Okay. So what's Scorpio, uh, what's going on for Scorpio here? Let's take a look. What do we have here for Scorpio? And do keep in mind, guys, we've got a full moon that's at the end of the month that is uh, on the 24th, right? And uh, that is a time that's going to affect relationships. It can cause some uh, relationship uh, irritants, so to speak, okay? So keep that in mind because there's going to be kind of this power thing of a dynamic, but it's about coming together and sussing that out, okay? And that could be the case between you and another person, all right? Uh, so that's what's coming into play. Okay. Uh, it could be not just in your relationships. It can also be in your self-worth and your finances. Okay. So that's coming, get your moon manifesting on guys. Uh, and that'll, uh, actually help you through this process. Okay. Uh, so definitely, uh, ch do check that out with all the goodies it comes with. All right. So let's take a look at where Scorpio is at the present moment, second half of July, 2021. What do we have? The world card. Nice, 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 nice. And then we get the uh, Two of Cups. Okay, okay. So what's at the bottom of the deck? Seven of Swords. Now this talks about some sort of deception of some sort, but uh, having faith, all right? Um, the Sevens is about having faith outside of deception. But let's get into this a little deeper here. Um, what we've got here is the World Card. Now the World Card is about some sort of completion, all right? Now it could pertain, uh, pertain as to a... a uh, uh, two of cups, which is two people, some sort of partnership or attraction, right? It could be that they're at a distance, okay? You're at a distance from them, but this is some sort of completion. Something has got to come to an end so it can begin anew, whether that is true for you or not, whether it's a birth with someone or a rebirth with someone or just a new beginning overall. It doesn't matter, okay? Whatever it is, a birth of something new, right? Um, uh, and this could be a letting go of a, a way of thinking, but I think there's been some sort of successful completion in a partnership or attraction here, okay? Um, because, you know, the two, uh, this is about some sort of partnership or attraction that you have towards someone, but there's some sort of completion that is around that okay give me one more card as it pertains to that give me one more card on this completion of the world major arcana uh, a big big shift right four of wands okay so now this really focuses in on um that that happy home harmony and marriage okay so i don't know if uh scorpio that you've got someone uh, maybe you had an attraction towards someone and that came to an end and now you're focused on you what's happening at home or if perhaps that you're getting your rest and you uh, are now ending in an old uh, cycle and now is able to get some rest right now and focus on balancing your environment. The Four of Wands is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, right? Uh, and uh, I kind of feel, and then you've got the Two of Swords, which now is making a decision. You've got a decision to make. You're kind of at a crossroads as it pertains to love, right? Uh, and it might have to do with some sort of illumination that came across towards you, right? Uh, that's coming into play, right? You expanded your, your awareness, your consciousness. Um, but that's kind of what I feel here that's coming into play here. You've been, you, this is about getting your balance back and now coming from a place of trying to make some sort of decision, the two of swords. I've got to pull one more. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, the two of swords. Uh, one more. King of wands. It could have to do with someone who's got their own business or maybe that you're making a decision to run your own business. Whatever the case, you might have an air, uh, a fire sign that you're interested in who's got who's a business owner or you are, are looking to be a business owner, right? Uh, or you're a leader, of course, in what you do, but this is a visionary, right? This is uh, someone who's a visionary and entrepreneur. Uh, and this is also, you know, kind of having some sort of authority uh, over that, right? So it's kind of, uh, uh, that's what I feel that's coming into play. Let's take a look at what uh, the love oracle says, okay? Let's take a look at the love oracle, where you're at at the present moment. Uh, what do we get here? Confusion. 
You're confused about which way to go in a love situation, okay? You're unclear at this particular moment, okay? So uh, what else is coming to play? You want to, you know, this is saying take your time, okay? The, the wise else is take your time. Take it slow, right? Uh, think smart and be wise about the situation, okay, is what's coming into play here. Um, and a surprise, unexpected gift. So it could be that whether you're giving it or you're receiving it, there's going to be some sort of unexpected gift that comes through here, okay? So beautiful energy, all right? What does uh, the uh, numerology have to say about where you're at right now? What do we get here? What do we have? Synchronicities. So heed your intuition in those synchronicities, right? Your attachment, your uh, uh, attachment to source, uh, and then uh, ground yourself. So from the from the from the bottom chakra, which is the root chakra, to the top, which is you know obviously your your crown chakra. This is saying from head to toe, listen to the synchronizations, right? Uh, and it's an, an 87 card, uh, reducing to a six, and sixes are about, you know, the birthing, right? right? It's like expanding, birth of something, right? Uh, so beautiful energy. So moving, you know, kind of a uh, birthing of, of some sort of synchronicity using your intuition. Let's take a look at this other person. I'm curious about this other person. Let's take a look at where they're at right now. And... Uh, uh, at the present moment. Where's this other person that you have on your mind, Scorpio? Uh, let's take a look at where they are. Ten of Cups and Empress Energy. Wow. This person is about alignment in terms of their happiness. Uh, now, this could be in terms of their life and their focus, and they all about beauty. They're all about art. They are all about uh, using that feminine energy. Uh, you know, this is about being in alignment with who they are, right? And I know they know their value and abundance and they're, they're focused in on that right now. So this is like that rainbow energy. I mean, wow. I mean, this person is, is pretty cool. This is kind of interesting, Scorpio. Uh, and, uh, they're, they're really at, at the alignment and happiness with what it is that they are doing. The cup energy is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Uh, you got that beautiful Empress energy, which is just, again, you know, birthing. She's she's uh, full of creativity, too. Uh, you know that as well. Anything else? Nine of Wands continuing to persevere, right? Not This is about not giving up. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So not giving up, you know, in terms of what it is that they want within their life. So very interesting. Let's take a look at the love uh, oracle and take a look if there's anything that wants to come out. Uh, what do we have here? They're sheltered off. Okay, so let's take a look right now. Anything else? Yeah, it's kind of like um, that it, they're kind of like they feel that uh, love is going nowhere, right? Maybe they've been sheltered off from love and it could be having to do with some sort of trust issues, right? Um, this is about, um, you know, this, yeah, because I get sheltered off trust issues and they're looking for someone that's trustworthy and reliable, right? So that's what's happening. It's like they, they won't let love come in that's not trustworthy or reliable, right? They won't let that come in into their life. They won't settle for love that doesn't honor them, okay? And that's what I feel that's coming through, which is interesting. And then I get falling apart, um, you know, uh, losing interest, right? So they would lose interest. So that's what I feel. So what's happening here? Um, interesting, Scorpio. Um, so what I feel here, um, you might resonate with one side more than the other. So feel free to reverse the directions as you see fit. I'm just letting you know that. But that's what's coming through here. Um, anything else that wants to come out in numerology? Let's take a look. Healing. Yeah, going through some healing. Maybe this person on the other side is going through some sort of healing of the past. Um, and it might affect their communication because a 66 reduces to a 12, which reduces to a three. And that is all about communication. All right. So it could affect their communication in terms of what they do. Let's take a look at the, uh, the, um, the core issue. All right. Let's take a look at the, uh, the core issue in this relationship or situation. Okay. What is the core issue, uh, and, uh, of the situation the dynamic between, uh, you two here. Okay. Let's take a look. Ace of Cups, nice energy, and Five of Cups. So it's kind of like, I think that there's an opportunity here that there is um, some sort of, um, uh, what do I want to say, some sort of opportunity here that uh, there's been some sort of, uh, the Five of Cups is like, um, like like looking at the past of something that maybe perhaps didn't turn out, you know, a little bit. Uh, the Fives are about some sort of conflict in terms of emotions, 
right? And they wanted something to grow, like something didn't grow before and the flowers have died here. And then there's, but there's two flowers over here that she hasn't used, right? So the interesting thing is like, it's kind of like, a, um, you know, looking, um, you know, she's just, you can see kind of, let me just look at this real quick, guys, so you can see. You can kind of see that she's looking at the flowers that have died and not at the flowers that are blooming in matters of the heart. So this is saying is that it, this needs to look at a different perspective. There's conflict here. Take to have a happy heart, look towards what it is that you want, not what you've lost. Take the lessons from here and then take them into heart, but move forward and transform them into something positive. And that's what this talks about. So there's some sort of conflict in the perception, right? Where someone is looking, only looking at one aspect of the situation and not looking at, uh, you know, the full five of cups, you know, for all she is concerned is she thinks this is the three of cups, right? <laughs> you know, and literally, I mean, seriously. And so what this is saying is, oh, hold on. You're not seeing things clearly. So this is about, look, you haven't used your, your opportunities that are in front of you. So that's what this is saying. And then I get the Ace of Cups, right? Uh, and this is all about a new opportunity, right? This is about, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, this is about uh, part, this is about um, attraction, right? This is about attraction and intimacy, um, you know, compassion. Have compassion towards yourself, but this is saying as it pertains to matters of the heart, right? To see something bloom, you got to look at what is here, not what's died, right? So that's what this is talking about, okay? So uh, in this situation, the crux of the issue is looking at things, ra rather than looking at them negatively, take a look at them positively okay so that's the issue of the situation anything else yeah and then the two of pentacles then you know this is about you know balancing that energy out balancing out the the you know the the dark energy and then uh balancing out you know this you know like the darker uh, flowers into the brand new flowers the light energy so it's balancing out that right um so it's about balancing and adapting to the new energy right um, interesting. What does the love oracle have to say about that? Let's take a look at what that is. Uh, what comes through here? Yeah, this is about superficial expressions that, um, that maybe that maybe the situation wasn't all that it was cracked up to be. Okay, let's take a look at the situation. Investments. So this is about you know investing into relationships and situations that 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 uh, bring um, uh, profit, right? In matters of the heart, right? But they're being. It's also saying being wise about money as well. So balancing things out. Okay. Anything else? Second chances. This is an opportunity for a, a second chance in love. Now, it doesn't have to be with the same person. And this is about a, a second opportunity for, you know, in the relationships or situations that there is an opportunity for a, a new love story, right? This is about painting your new love story. And that means that you're not looking at, uh, you know, the past that didn't work, but on the future that's there for you, right? Look, be in the now in your heart and then look at the opportunities that you have. Uh, start balancing out that energy a little bit more and then take two okay and whatever that looks like it doesn't have to be a past lover I know a lot of you might say well I don't want to go to the past and that's fine um, there are times when it could be uh, for you a good thing but that's up to you uh, and there's times when it's not but this is saying is that you know what's healthy for you and this is saying is that uh, maybe you looked at the situation or some one of you in this relationship looked at is looking at it in a more negative way. They're looking too much at the past and not in the future of what can be invested, right? Um, anything else that wants to come out in the current issue, but that's exactly what I see here. Yeah, this is about getting real. Yeah, and this is about um, getting rid of the make-believe and getting into the practical, okay, of what's happening. So that's what I see here um, in terms of the crux of the situation, all right? Anything from numerology here yeah take a time out take the time that you need because this is an ending with a brand new beginning okay it gives you the confidence in source right uh, uh the uh, 73 reduces to a 10 that means an end coming to an end coming to fruition at the very end all the way at the end right and, and reaching that and now the 10 is also a one when it reduces and starts all over right so a new beginning so take this time out that you need scorpio for whatever it is that that, that needs to go through let's take a look at what's going to help the situation okay what's going to help the situation uh, let's take a look at that let me put these aside here what's going to help the situation uh, let's take a look at what that is for you what's going to help the situation uh for scorpio what does that look like okay let's take a look uh let's take a look what's going to help in the situation three of swords the heartbreak the five of swords Whew, 
Woo! Jeez. Boom, boom, boom. I gotta have one more. Okay. All right. Here we go. We got the Three of Swords, which is emotional, uh, you know, uh, uh, kind of heartache, right? Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be dealing with one of those signs there. Okay. Or you might have it in your chart. And then I get the Five of Swords, right? Uh, the Five of Swords is some sort of uh, uh, some sort of conflict within the situation. Okay. Uh, it's kind of like, um, yeah, there's been some sort of conflict, uh, you know, some sort of, uh, of defeat of some sort. And then I get the seven of swords, which now says it's, it's, you know, it's, this is that deception. It's time for truth to come out, right? You see the word truth that's up there, right? And maybe one of you in, within the situation has recognized the truth of the situation. And now I get the three of wands and, uh, this coming through here is, uh, a fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this is about progress and discovery. Okay, so there has been something has been illuminated. The truth has been illuminated in this relationship and situation. Okay, the truth has been illuminated. So what does that look like in terms of that? Give me one more card in terms of the uh, tarot here. What is it? Ten of Pentacles. All right, so this is about wealth and establishment, right? Uh, this is about establishing wealth and security, okay? So now, now there's progress and discovery in terms of the solid foundation in terms of a relationship or situation is what I feel. The wealth and security in a relationship, right? Now it, there is a, there's an opportunity, you know, to either focus in on that. Um, I kind of feel that this is wealth of information that you've experienced. It doesn't have to be money in itself. The Ten of Pentacles, this could be wealth and something that you value. So maybe that you got the, the, the valuable uh, information that you needed, which was truth, right? And that allowed you to progress and discover and to move forward on whatever is that Ten of Pentacles is, is for you, right? To create that foundation. Now you know what you didn't know before, okay? Is what I feel here, okay? Uh, in the situation. That's kind of the crux of the situation. The truth needed to be exposed, all right? Th this is what happened, okay? The truth needed to be exposed. Anything else? Yeah, this is about, you know, reevaluating the situation. Like things were going really slow at a snail's pace. Uh, divine timing, right? So there's divine timing here. So yeah, it's like the, the, the truth is coming out. Now, whether this is an acknowledgement of just your own truth, it doesn't have to be the truth of another person in their situation. This could be your own truth, right? And uh, move, when, when you're not sure what it is, it's, it, it was moving slowly, right? Um, there is a faded destiny that's attached to this, right? Uh, so you're, I don't know if you're both allowing the truth to kind of bubble up to the surface after heartache. Um, but there's some sort of truth that's kind of becoming through that is going to be, you're, you're going to discover this, right? And that could be that illumination that we saw at the beginning guys, right? There's going to be some sort of illumination that could be the case. All right. And anything else? And then you're moving on away from that. So it's moving on away from that, uh, that, it, that old way of being, uh, it could be person, place or thing. Okay. And, uh, so that's what it is. Uh, what is, how can you make progress here? How can you make progress? Make progress, King of Cups, balance your emotions. That's going to be key. Balance your emotions, and that's going to be how you're going to be able to make progress here. Go within with some introspection, right? That's exactly what that hermit energy does, is go within within that, uh, focusing on that, uh, taking a tectonic breath before that, that butterfly flies off. Uh, that green and yellow is, is confidence in the heart, and then moving forward. So it's kind of like now you're, you're, you're going through that introspection, and, and that's what's going to help you. And the Nine of Swords is to rid of the anxiety, depression, or despair. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And what's going to help you within that uh, to make that happen here? Uh, start fresh. New chapter, clean slate, starting over. Now, some of you, we're going to take a deeper dive into this. So if you're interested, uh, click the link below, guys, because what we're going to do is find out, is this starting over in a new relationship? Is this starting over just for you? Is this a clean slate? Uh, what is this particular? So we're going to take a deep dive into this other person, uh, find out what they want most, um, what they're most afraid of, what you're most afraid of, uh, you know, messages from both sides, what their next move will be, potential outcome and Oracle, um, uh, in Oracle, uh, kind of advice at the end. So if you are interested, go ahead and click the link below and guys, uh, definitely like and subscribe. Note your comments below. I'd love to know how this resonates with you. Uh, and if I don't see you on the extended, I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, namaste.